Hey guys, it's Hunter. Welcome back to another video. So the original Matt Hafey Les Paul Custom 7 was the first 7 string that I ever tried, and that was the guitar that got me into the extended range stuff. For 2017, Epiphone has introduced two new Matt Hafey signatures with white finishes and phenolic fingerboards, including this beauty right here. I know this is one a lot of you have been waiting for, so let's take a closer look. Alright, so I love this guitar. As a massive Les Paul fan, it feels like the seven string that I would build for myself. A lot of the specs stick to what you'd find on a traditional Les Paul, mahogany body, mahogany neck with a slim taper profile, 22 frets, and even the classic 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length. There are a couple of modern features like the active EMG 817 and 707 pickups, a kill pot, and the access neck heel, but overall it feels exactly like playing a regular Les Paul, but with an extra low B. That's perfect for single cut guys like me. There's also binding around the top of the body, the neck, and the headstock, which looks very classy and matches the guitar's overall premium feel. This Snowfall is essentially the same as the previous Hafey 7 string signature, but instead of a black finish with black hardware and an ebony fingerboard, this has a white finish with chrome hardware and a white phenolic fingerboard. Based on the comments, there seems to be a lot of confusion about the fretboard. To be clear, it's not a piece of wood that's just been painted white. 
Phenolic is more of a plastic, so I imagine most of the questions about this guitar will be about the Phenolic and how it compares to traditional fingerboard materials. A lot of traditionalists are wary of fingerboard wood alternatives, but personally, I really like it. Firstly, I think it looks really cool, pun intended, because snowfall. And secondly, it is very, very smooth. The Axis neck heel also makes upper fret access a breeze, so this guitar plays fast and feels great for both rhythm and lead players. EMGs have always been a core part of Trivium's rhythm sounds on records, and this guitar comes with an EMG 817 and 707 pickup combination. I mean, most metal guitar nerds will probably know what these sound like through the lead channel of a PV6505, but here it is anyways. <laughs> cleans through a Marshall DSL 100H. So no real surprises here when it comes to tone. EMGs have a very distinctive sound. It seems to be the thing on the internet nowadays to bash them for sounding a little sterile, but I've always found them great for tracking the chugs. Apart from the guitar, for your hard-earned cash, you also get a padded Epiphone gig bag, Epiphone strap blocks, and a signed certificate of authenticity. Very cool. And now it's time for arguably the most important part of the video, Simon Says, where we ask my guitar noob roommate what he thinks of the Snowfall Les Paul Custom 7. All right, Simon, what do you think of this guitar? There's no other color but white. <laughs> There's no pickguard. Whoa, very stocky and it's very heavy. There's seven strings, whoa. So this is the signature model of Matt Hafey from Trivium, and he's one of the few famous Asian Americans in metal. Whoa, I didn't know there was Asian Americans in metal. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. How does the, the fingerboard feel? So usually the fingerboards are made out of wood, and this one is made out of sort of plastic. Is this the fingerboard? <laughs> no. Wait. It's wait. the thing on the neck with all the frets. Frets. Okay, sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've never really felt that before. <laughs> I feel like it's like glossy-ish. Matt, 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 Matt. Wait, is it matte or glossy? It's like both matte and glossy. I can see it's like already really dusty. It looks pretty dirty already. It's definitely the, one of the cooler guitars that I've looked at. So the last guitar that you thought was really cool was Epiphone as well. So how would you yeah. rank Epiphone compared to like the other guitars that, that you've tried so far? I definitely think you should let me review more of them. And what about the Epiphone headstock? There's so much hate for the Epiphone headstock. What do you think? I have, I, I have not been paying attention to like the headstock at all. I mean, it's the guitar that you're playing, not the headstock. You just adjust the headstock when you're like adjusting the tone if it's like off. Like, here it is. <laughs> Why would you be looking at the headstock? What else? What else? What else? Why is it so thick? Why is it like, it's like a good couple inches? Um, that's just the way that Les Pauls are. Uh... I mean, again, it's just blaringly white. So I guess it would stain if you like ever spilled some coffee on it or eating chips or something, like smear it all on that so, final verdict on on this guitar. Yeah, I think it's pretty solid. Like, it's definitely, I, I wouldn't want this guitar just because it is heavier. It's probably harder for me to play. Well, I guess if you're a bigger man looking for more guitar, this is the guitar for you. 
So the relatively short scale length for a 7 string is a pretty divisive point for this guitar. On the one hand, the traditional 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length is a huge part of what makes the Snowfall feel so familiar and comfortable to Les Paul players like myself. On the other hand, it can cause problems with string tension, intonation, and fret buzz. I have a massive newfound respect for Matt Hafey's guitar tech because this thing was not that easy to set up. The original Hafey 7 I demoed had been set up in store. This one came directly from the warehouse with the action about, give or take, a mile off the fretboard, and the intonation was way off. To be fair, I'm not the best at setting up guitars, but particularly with this one, I really struggled. There's a reason most 7 strings have longer scale lengths. Getting the action low with an acceptable amount of fret buzz and the intonation accurate, especially with the low B, was a challenge. And even then, there's less string tension here than the normal 7-string player would be used to. But once I got it set up to my liking, the combination of the body shape, the neck profile, and the two pneumatic bridge makes this the most comfortable 7-string for me as someone who prefers classic single cuts. So I love it. I love the looks, I love the sound, I love the way it plays. With traditional elements fused with modern features and rock-solid construction, I'd say this guitar is a perfect stepping stone for anyone looking to make the move from six strings to seven. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. These are just my opinions and I'd love to hear yours, so leave them in the comments and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. If you wanna support what I do and get bonus extras like song downloads, check out my Patreon. Thanks to Sam Ash for getting this guitar to me and to Pad for mixing everything. Pricing, availability, all the links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. You've been awesome. This is the Epiphone Matt Hafey Snowfall Les Paul Custom 7, and I'll see you for the next video.